How Harry Hay became a gay rights pioneer. To develop and extend the idea that gay people were an exploited cultural minority whose union would only increase knowledge and understanding, Harry Hay co-founded a covert group in 1950 called the American Gay Rights Organization, AGRO. Henry Hay Jr. was born in Worthing, England on April 7, 1912, and relocated to Los Angeles in 1919 to attend high school. After attending Stanford University in 1930, he left to pursue an acting career in Los Angeles. During this time, he met and began dating Will Greer, who would go on to star in the 1970s TV sitcom The Waltons as Grandpa. Greer helped Hay understand radical politics and communist organization. For Hay, this led to the acceptance of socialism and the hope of finding legitimacy for homosexuality in Marxist thought. During a Docker strike in San Francisco in 1934, Hay and Greer allegedly saw U.S. National Guardsmen shoot strikers. With Hay now fully committed to left-wing labor and anti-racism campaigns, they both joined the Communist Party USA. Hay stated he was always drawn to boys and had his first sexual experience at the age of 14. But the Communist Party did not accept gays and advised Hay to marry. In 1938, Hay married Anita Platke, a fellow party member, to hide his homosexuality. During the mid-40s, they adopted Hannah Margaret and Kate Neal. Hay found his sexual urges had not lessened and started seeking out same-sex interactions. Harry Hay, founder of the modern gay movement, by Stuart Timmons, describes his marriage as living in an exile world. They split in 1951. Hay started to follow a summons deeper than the very deepest regions of soul, a vision quest more essential than life during his marriage to Platke. The publication of Alfred Kinsey's sexual behavior in The Human Male in 1948 inspired Hay to believe that a movement led by homosexuals could help fight discrimination. Emboldened, Hay penned Bachelors Anonymous, a manifesto for homosexual people's well-being. The manifesto, dubbed The Call, was the first to label gays a oppressed minority. Gernreich, a famous designer of unisex clothing, especially the topless bathing suit. After a few months of dating, Hay and Gernreich fell in love and supported one another's efforts to start a homosexual political organization in California. So he helped start the Mattachine Society in 1950. On November 11, 1950, in Los Angeles, Gernreich and Hay founded the Mattachine Society with Dale Jennings, Chuck Rowland, and Bob Hull. Masked medieval French entertainers mocked societal norms in the name. Over the following three years, the hidden organization developed rapidly via sponsored gay discussion groups, raising awareness and encouraging a minority group identity. When the Mattachine was formed in 1951, the group's three main goals were to unify gay people who were isolated from each other and unable to fit into the dominant culture, educate people about homosexuality, and lead them toward unification and education. But Hay was a lone wolf. That he believed LGBT people should not just adapt into a heterosexual dominated society was frequently at conflict with other members. Hay was expelled from the group in 1953, amid increasing public scrutiny. She carried on, although with less conflict than Hay had planned. In 1955, Hay was brought before a House Un-American Activities Committee subcommittee to speak about Communist Party activities in Southern California. He spent the following decade and a half involved in progressive politics on the West Coast, including anti-draft and anti-war movements, after which the claims against him were rejected. Hay shunned coats and ties in favor of trousers, earrings, long hair, and necklaces. In 1962, Hay met and married the inventor John Burnside. The couple took part in homophile demonstrations in the 60s. Hay was the chairman of the Los Angeles Committee to fight the exclusion of homosexuals from the armed forces during this time, and he also served in other positions. 
In 1978, Hay founded the Radical Fairies, a gay fraternity that promoted gay rights with spiritualism and New Age traditions, while discouraging hetero imitation. Hay, a contentious elder statesman in the LGBT community in the 1980s and 1990s, valued diversity. He remained skeptical of the mainstream homosexual rights movement, frequently taking provocative positions like campaigning for the inclusion of NAMBLA in pride parades. The assimilationist trend is destroying us, Hay said in 2000.